What's up, everybody? I came across uh, this company and uh, was um, just looking for basically a quick little drift car. I used to have an RC drift car, and um, somebody walked into my garage and stole it uh, with the remote and um, walked out in the time it took me to go inside and grab something to drink. So I uh, came across this the other day. It is essentially a Hot Wheel. Um, it is a 176th scale drift car um it is supposed to be a whole lot of fun but i went ahead and got this here skyline in blue um as you can see there and uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and open that up and um check it out real quick All right, so this um, is supposed to be the same size as the Hot Wheel. Damn it, there's more tape on the side. I just want to get them a drift car. Dead. All right, then get all the tape off. Yay, access granted. All right, so 176th RC car, 100% ready to run. Okay, so after quickly looking over the uh, instructions, it seems pretty straightforward. Um, you know, take things, put batteries in them, uh, flip switches, make things go. So, seems pretty straightforward. So, uh, let's uh, go ahead and see. I can see blue right there. I know I got the blue one, but that's about the extent of it, so I'm excited. Let's see what's under. Ooh, that's bright. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that's nice. Look at that. I didn't expect that at all. Some gold trim on the wheel there. Comes with two extra bodies that you can paint yourself. Um, comes with the blue one. And then a little tool there to be able to, I guess, put on and take off the bodies and... Um, mm -hmm. Maybe accessories, from what I recall. Let's see here. Yeah, because there are, I think, pieces and whatnot that goes up in there. So, let's see here. So, when you pull this guy off here, the little bodies come out with it. Oh, holy cow. It is just like a tiny little Hot Wheel. With its little drift wheels on it. Okay, so it's got USB charging on the bottom. Feels pretty nice. It is light though. I would hate to have this thing accidentally go off of a, a table or something. I might have to play with it on the floor. <laughs> Hmm, what color do I do these bodies? Holy cow. Decisions, decisions already. Alright, and then you got the wheel in here, which is a two-part wheel. So there's one part of it. It's here. Okay, it's on off. That's where it slides together and connects. Okay. charging cable for the okay looked underneath no surprises in there there wasn't any money or anything in the bottom uh, no stickers be cool if they included a sticker man what's wrong with companies how come they don't include stickers anymore don't they understand people love stickers especially those of us who play with toys from the 80s and shit like that I grew up with stickers. Give me stickers with stuff I buy that's cool. All right, so let me put this together, get some batteries in it, and set this thing up for charging. And I'll be back once it has some power. Okay, so the remote runs on four 
AAA batteries, so I've got those charging up and uh, should be able to go ahead and get those loaded in shortly. All right, so just finished unwrapping the cable. Uh, it's got the charging cable, USB cable with it um, so that you can charge the car separate um, if you want to, which I'm gonna go ahead and do because I have the batteries for the remote charging. Um, and you can charge it off of that if you press this little switch down there forward, it pops that guy up, which then you can set the car on that. It's got the little USB spot on the bottom of the car so you can actually press that on there and it will charge the car that way or you can plug it into a usb and into a computer or um, a wall brick if you uh, have that uh, which i do so that's what i'm going to go ahead and plug it into so that way i don't have to wait even longer so Let's go ahead and take this guy off of here. We'll go ahead and get this little cable here. And we're gonna plug that guy into there. Okay, so I went ahead and plugged it in my little wall brick there. I see a little red light inside there that indicates that it is charging. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that uh, sit for a second and get charged. I was waiting to play with my RC car and go drifting. I played more drifting. <laughs> Gotta love the green lights. Okay, so the little RC car is fully charged. The little red light in there stopped glowing. Uh, it didn't take very long, actually, for it to stop once I plugged it in. And then I've got my rechargeables here all uh, charged up as well, ready to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug those into the remote. And you do so by flipping it over and then turning this little guy. Let me see if I can do that one-handed. All right, I can. All right. So turn that. All right. Give that a little shaka shaka. All right. And then that comes out. Let's load the batteries up in the row. Now while I'm actually thinking about it real quick, I want to comment back on this because I didn't really talk about this earlier, but once I actually snapped these two pieces together a second ago and felt this, this feels really nice. Like, um, I mean, I know it's not some super high dollar one, but with the foam on there and then you can tell when it's dead center, it's got a little feel to it that gives you the indication that it's centered up. And then when you're off each side, left or right, you know, you feel that from the difference, but, um, yeah. So, um, anyway, back to loading the batteries in, which I gotta be careful. I tipped one of these over a second ago and it almost landed on the car. Um, I don't know. It could cause some irreparable damage because this thing is tiny. This is a triple A battery. And for reference, this is a normal sized Hot Wheels car. So you kind of have an idea there how small it is. All right. So I got my batteries all in there. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that up into the remote handle which just slides back up in there and just slide it back in there don't forget to turn that little screw back to set it so it doesn't fall out and remember this switch is not what locks this in place it's this turning thing so this just this just pops that thing up and down all right, so then once you get that, then you put these together. Boom. Lock together. Little itty bitty car. If you need to charge it, again, just goes right on here. Get my big old fat finger out of the way. Boom. Plugged on there. You can see that little red light in there, I'm sure. Looks 
So it is currently topping off the battery. And uh, just for shits and giggles, I'll wait for the light to go off before I play with it. It's been seven seconds and the light is still on. Ugh. I'm not a patient person. Okay, anyway, while that is going, uh, let's continue to explore in here. Okay, so I've got the two bodies, and then I kind of looked in here earlier and saw this. Uh, okay, this is a screwdriver to take the body off. It is the tiniest yet also most robust little flathead I think I've ever seen. They got these little bodies. Ooh, ooh, is there a bag of goodies? Oh my God, I don't have to transfer them from the other one. Awesome, all right, cool. So each body comes with its own set of accessories you don't have to swap them out from one to the other all right that's cool okay the light went off now let's turn it on and see gosh so tiny holy crap when you hit the brakes the friggin tail lights light up Okay, so that's the lowest power setting. So I just found out, I realized that it's got three of them on the remote. 